Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is Sunday and basically I have an Hermes unboxing to show you. I'm just having my coffee. It's been such a busy week. So today I just want to chill. We're gonna make an outfit with a new bag and everything. I'm so excited to show it to you because I've never done like something like this. I'm gonna explain later. It's Sunday, so pretty much everything is closed. I'm a tiny bit sick in case you hear it on my voice. Nothing too serious, just like flu. I haven't really gotten sick since COVID, especially with the flu. So this is the first time. I kind of forgot how bad flus they are like by themselves because of course if you get covid you freak out it's not that bad my throat is just a little bit sore so i'm gonna finish my coffee clean the bedroom a little bit and go to do the unboxing So I brought the good lights and everything so you can see the actual color of the bag. I have a lot to explain. So this is not a proper unboxing because I'm not going to keep this bag. So this arrived yesterday and it was sent by Ritalux. I think all of you guys know them. Basically, I'm gonna borrow this bag for a little bit. So I'm not going to keep it unless I decide to buy it. And when you see which bag it is and the color, it's definitely gonna make sense. But this is my first time borrowing a bag. And if I felt comfortable doing this from someone, it was definitely with Georgia and Hunter. So this video video is like working together. I'm really grateful that they're gonna let me try this bag before I decide to save for this specific color to add to my collection because it's definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't tend to use anything like this and I am floored that they trust me. Of course, it's not a new bag. I would never um, borrow a new bag. I definitely wanted to try it out. First off, I know that you guys know Ritalux mainly because they sell amazing hard to find Chanel, but they also have very good vintage items. Now they're having more and more Hermes pieces and and when I saw that they had this one, I just asked Georgia and she was like, do you want to try it out? We can send it to you. And I was like, yeah, of course. And I know that there's services where you can actually rent bags for a little bit. So again, this is my first experience doing so. I definitely hope that I don't fall in love with the bag to the point where it's painful to send it back. But I'm going to be super careful around it. I'm already quite careful with my bags, so it's going to be fine. But I would love to know your guesses for the size of the box. I think we pretty much all know what it is. So with time... Really Ritalux has more and more Hermes. If you go and check their website, I actually have like a monthly section where I pick my favorite pieces from them. I always have the link in my description box. Like they have for everything. They have pieces that are premium and they have pieces that are actually really good deals. And uh, what made this happen is the fact that they don't have customs. Like if you shop from them, there are customs, but Ritalux covers the customs and not the buyer. So I would have been hesitant to get anything shipped of this value to Europe, especially coming from America but since they cover customs no issues i just got it delivered and here it is so yeah i wanted to emphasize to anyone that wants to shop from them you will not have to cover any sort of customs or fees also all of their Hermes pieces are authenticated by baba baby they're really really good with this so everything is authenticated and um if you guessed that this was a virgin or a kelly you are correct and it's a color that i've never seen in person this is my first impression of the bag i'm really excited to see how i can implement it in the next couple of weeks because I'm gonna be keeping it for like a month or so. Let's see if I like it enough to start saving or put myself on the wish list or just buy this one. I don't know. It's a 25 size, of course. 25 for me is possibly the best. Lately, I've been meaning to get a 30 in gray, but we'll talk about that later. So here's the bag. Let's see if you guess the color. So it comes with a thank you card as always. And inside here, it's the authenticity certificate. And let's open the bag. I'm very curious if you guys can guess the color. I think, yeah, because I've been talking about getting this color in the classic club for a really long time, but... Okay, so it's a yellow Birkin 25. I am quite sure that the hardware is permabrass. This is not toggle leather, actually. It's in Navillo, and let's open up the bag. As I said, this is pre-loved. It was already used when they sourced it, so I feel comfortable enough, but I'm not gonna touch any of the stickers. It's so freaking cute. Like, the color is not like Jean Poisson. I'm gonna put the name of the color on the screen because I certainly don't want to butcher it with my Spanish pronunciation. But it's Jean Naples. That's my best shot at it. And it does come with this. So let's put it on. So yeah, everything still has stickers. I'm definitely gonna be as delicate as I can with the bag. It's the perfect bag for summer. I don't know if I'm gonna send it back, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so for now, for now, this is gonna be borrowed. And I have the perfect name for it. It's gonna be Bob. Kind of look like SpongeBob. So if I don't keep it and anyone else is interested, you're gonna be able to shop this bag uh, when it's back on their hands. Promise you, I'm gonna take very good care of it. This is insane. I'm so excited to try this out. It's so different. I'm gonna show you with all of 
of my other bags. And I do think that when it comes to bright bags, I need to go in the smaller sizes so I don't get overwhelmed by them. And this for summer, like today we're just gonna pick an outfit, a very probably white outfit to pair with this bag. And we're gonna go for some April spritz or something around Barcelona, whatever is open today. And if not, we're gonna continue the vlog tomorrow. But I do want to chat a little bit about what happened to Relux in the past month. Instagram disabled their account by error. Like pretty much the same that it happened to me. They just woke up one day and their Instagram account was taken down, which is honestly quite insane if you think about it because this is their business and it's their job and they could not do anything about it for an entire month. So Relux disappeared from Instagram for a full month and they were able to recover it recently. So I wanted to use a little bit this video to let everyone know that they're back. Yeah, it was just Instagram doing what they always do. It happened to me a couple of times. And to let you guys know that they also sell like a wide variety of things in case you're interested and that you can ship from basically anywhere in the world because they will cover the custom. So feel super comfortable about that. I'm so excited to see what we're gonna do with this one. Let me know what you think about the color. Like originally I was aiming for a little bit more of a pastel and this bag is definitely brighter, but the hardware is, it's just, it's so, so beautiful. So I'm gonna show you close-ups of the bag and everything we're gonna play a little bit with it and pick an outfit and go out okay so i wanted to do some close-ups on the bag so you can see the true color i am not going to color correct or do anything to this so you can see the leather and the hardware and everything this is beautiful this is the inside of the bag but this is the hardware it still has the stickers the lock has the stickers too this is not gold this is permabras sort of like rose gold i don't know how to explain it and the leather I actually love this leather. I kind of like it more than Togo. And this is the bag. Let me bring my other Birkin so you can see them side by side. You can tell that this one is a little bit more yellow and this one, it has a little bit more of like a pink undertone and the leather finish is also different. Probably very hard to tell on camera. Also in case you want to compare the yellow with my Polene in wheat, you can see that it's definitely brighter. Like I'm really really loving it. So yeah, difference in color. And if you want to compare it to Claire, Here's my Claire Mini Kelly. This is beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna change. The day is actually quite beautiful. I know that this one kind of matches, but not that much really. So I was thinking maybe like a white beigey outfit that goes very well with this. Right now here in Barcelona, it's super hot. Like we're reaching the 27 degrees today. So I definitely want to go fresh. And um, yeah, I just want to spend the day outside, relax a little bit, show you some of my favorite spots here in Barcelona. But let me get dressed to kind of go with it. This is gonna be great for me to start implementing more color, especially now for summer and I kind of have a twilly that could match very well with the bag let me show you what do we think it has yellow blues grays but I don't know maybe later this week I'm gonna add a twilly to the bag but right now I just want to wear it as is it's stunning I'm so excited to try it out okay so I'm just for a dress or a shirt and shorts matching set. I could use this Zimmerman dress. Um, what do we think raw shirt with shorts I think I kind of like this option so I'm gonna put it here or I could go for something a little more basic every day and a white shirt. The pants that I have right now are beige. So I think maybe with a white top underneath might look good. But I'm going to try both and decide. But I think the shirt is going to be like the casual option. And the dress is going to be a little bit more bougie. I guess it depends how long we're going to be out. Because of course it is more comfortable. I think it's going to be too much. But look. What about this dress? Is it too much? Yeah, this is a no for me. I changed. I'm going to show you the full outfit right now. But I just want to pack the back first. I changed my jewelry to idle. And I'm going to link the pieces that I'm wearing and I'm also going to change to the Ono earrings. I think the flu is getting a little bit better today so I actually feel like going out but if you do hear my voice being a little bit like raspy. I think so far these are my favorite idol earrings. I decided to go for the shirt instead of the dress because we're gonna walk a lot and we're gonna be out most of the day. First of all and for sure I'm gonna take sunglasses. I cannot find mine, my Chanel ones. After London I lost them so I'm gonna take polos which are good enough and let's put everything inside of the bag. So I'm gonna switch for the one that I was using before which was my Dior Bobby bag to this one. So today being a very regular day out I'm for sure gonna take my keys and I don't want to take a carry with me because I don't want to place a bag anywhere so I think taking this today is gonna be the best. It's a handbag hook let me open it up and show you. 
So this is how it looks. So you can put your bag on the table like this and don't place it anywhere that you don't want to. It is a little bit heavy, but in my opinion, it is worth it. And it has its own little dust bag, so you can put it inside and don't really have to worry about it scratching the interior of your bag. So let's put it inside. These two lip balms. This has color and the Hermes one does not have any color. So this is basically what I take daily on the bag. And out of my bobby bag, I have my wallet. I was thinking to switching to this one, but it's probably gonna take a lot of space, so we're gonna stick with this one. I'm just gonna add my subway card inside. Earphones. And to hair ties, because you never know. Plus, here I'm gonna put my sunglasses, my phone, and... I am not sure if I'm taking the camera today with me, just because of all of the things that we have to do that did not involve the vlog. So, I think the phone will have to do today. But I'm definitely vlogging, so let's go. So, I decided to go for a satin shirt. Definitely the basic outfit option. This top is from Aritzia. Shorts are from Oisho, and then they're just beige linen shorts. I thought going very, very neutral could go very well with the bag, so yeah, this is it. I cannot go. I had to wait outside because of Masha. But after this, I think we're just gonna head home and have something for dinner and a movie. I'll explain when we get home, but so far, love the color of the bag. What did you buy? We got some bread and some cheese and some ham. Well, be very ham. Honestly, don't. I should be the last. We're back home. Today, I'm gonna watch my first Lord of the Rings movie. And I want to talk to you about some books. Like, I've been talking about this here and there on my Instagram about the books that I've been reading. And some people ask me to go a little bit more into depth on my channel. Of course, I want to because I've been reading a lot in the past couple of weeks. So I wanted to talk to you about the books that I want to recommend everyone and tell you where I'm at. Please do not spoil me anything in the comments. Someone told me something about one of the books that I'm reading that I was devastated to know. So no spoilers please <laughs> so this is what i have read in the past month i think until now i realized that it's actually quite a lot so i wanted to give you like my recommendations i'm actually someone who tends to read more like jane austen outlander type of stuff the first one that i started reading was emma of course emma is a fantastic book i would always recommend anything from jane austen but i would say pride and prejudice and emma are my favorites and then i saw like it was definitely because of TikTok but the thing is that I've been spending so much time like literally on TikTok or on Instagram or watching YouTube when it's my free time and to be completely honest like being on social media is already my job so 
I feel like I never shut my brain off in that sense like it's always thinking like oh I didn't edit enough or I need to do this and I need to do that and the only thing that I found that completely shuts my brain off is reading so I found this book and I liked it but it was definitely not what I expected so this is it ends with us I only buy hardcovers because I want to fill my little library here but I really wanted it because it has the pink petals right here and like the gold foil like it's just a pretty book so I thought that it was gonna be like an all lovey-dovey type of like, you know I didn't want anything too complicated, but actually this is a very good book It does include a lot of domestic violence, so it can be a little bit triggering I recommend you to check the trigger warnings if you read it It did not give me closure So because it did not give me closure, I got the second book It's not as good as the first one, but it's like a lighter reading experience So highly highly recommend it I think there's gonna be a TV series about this one, so yeah, these were the first three that I read and then this happened. So this is the Akotar series. People call it Akotar because it's a very long name and it's A Court of Thorns and Roses. So I am in no way a fantasy reader. I don't like fantasy books. I'm definitely not that. I'm the most like classic novel, lovey-dovey, even when I was a teenager, like I, I just don't get into this type of stuff. However, I'm a massive fan of Game of Thrones. I love the TV series. I never read the books because I felt like they were going to be like too much for me to read but I have a friend and she told me that these books are like more love than fantasy so I was like okay great let's try them out so I read the first one when I tell you that I was not expecting to like these books at all and it's just good like it really is good like it's nothing that I could tell you like oh my god this is life-changing and I learned so much like no but it's definitely better than scrolling through TikTok for hours when I have free time so now well I read the first one the Colleen Hoover books on a scale of 1 to 10 I give them a 7 both of them for me Emma is a 10 you can base yourself with that one of my favorite books in my entire life was like the old man and the sea but let me tell you that it's fantastic so a court of thorns and roses i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten then i read what is right now my favorite book from the series so this is a court of mist and fury it had me crying well the other one too but 10 out of 10 amazing i love this book nine out of ten had me crying too especially at the end i'm in the middle of reading the fourth one which is a court of frost and starlight and then i only have this one left so that's what I've been into. Since I knew that I was gonna devour the last two books, I went ahead and I bought the rest of her series, like the same author, and it's Throne of Glass. I'm honestly quite shocked <laughs> that I like them so much, but yeah, I, I kinda do. Now we're gonna start like a weekly tradition where one day a week at night, we're gonna put one of the Lord of the Rings movie, a good wine or champagne and good bread and cheese. I've never watched any of the Lord of the Rings movies. I know, I know, but we do love watching movies together. So when we have time and I think like if we schedule it, we can both just leave the phones in another room and watch them. I know they have to be good, so we're gonna do that. I definitely need something to watch on TV that it's not something new from Netflix because I cannot watch another dating show. And I think Prime released a show that is related to Lord of the Rings, so I just suddenly got interested in watching it. Let's hope that I like it. When I finish the rest of the series of the book, I'm gonna let you know, but so far, amazing. All the books are good. And if you have very good book recommendations, let me know. So yeah, I'm gonna go clean a little bit, fix the living room, and we're gonna watch the first movie.